court. Yeah. It's incredible. Well, I don't know what you call it. Uh, you got it right. Okay. Uh, just uh, have you ever done that in the course of a game? Before? But you know what? Not really. No. no I, can, I, mean, I mean, I've done it probably a few times, maybe in Oklahoma or sometime, but literally, like when you're from LA, certain music, certain tunes just kind of get you differently. And like, I don't know. All I heard was the music. I was like, oh, it's my joint right here. You know, it's my. And my feet start moving, you know, it's just how it works for me. So I love to dance and it's something that I kind of enjoy doing. So kind of happened in the middle of the game, but, you know, enjoying it. But that also goes to, like, what I mentioned after that game about just our swag and my energy. Like, that's who I am. And, like, in order for us to be who we need to be, I need to be who I am and be free and do things where, to me, it seems normal. But for everybody else, it's like, what the hell was he doing? You know what I'm saying? So... And I'm okay with that, but like it, it, that brings a good energy to my team, to my teammates, and it puts us in a happy place. And um, I always remember, like throughout the season and throughout a game, you always want to make sure you're having fun, win, lose, or draw. Because if you're not, it's kind of becomes like for me personally, I get too so tense. I'm just too so, super focused and not having no fun, then I lose track of kind of what I'm supposed to be doing. So that also is a combination of all that, just having some fun, smiling, and enjoying the game. So my follow up to that, I said it was on the time. Uh, last time we talked to Melo, he said that he felt like there was kind of a misconception with him. And you told us when about this, this documentary that came out that you felt like there was misconception with you. So even if maybe general NBA fans are starting to get to know you the way you want them to know you, do you think your Laker teammates know who you are yet? And how is that? Uh, yeah, I think they give me they give me a better idea uh, just who I am and kind of what's important to me. Um, and that's just wanting and making sure that I bring good energy and good spirits uh, each and every day, regardless of kind of what's going on. Because you know, us as athletes and as men, uh, we all have different things going on in our lives, and coaches and staff from top to bottom got different things that we all may have in common. So I just feel like it's my duty to make sure I'm bringing positive and good energy uh, to the guys. And that's important in my job. Uh, no, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. How did your teammate respond to you dancing, doing you? I ain't they just saying, they just saying, they just saying, you know, that's just me being me. You know, they, you know, I like to joke and enjoy the game and have fun while doing it. But also at the same time, like I'm gonna compete to the best of my ability, and you know, that's just kind of all kind of who I am. And I think that some of them didn't notice it right away. Then after the game, everybody's like, "Oh, I didn't realize you did this throughout the game." I was like, "Yeah, we needed to." Like, afterwards. <laughs> and my point would be the defense you guys played last night. Better indication that you guys talk about the process. <clears throat> the steps. And that's one step. Yeah, forward. I think we've been moving in the right direction of just worrying about us, uh, regardless of what team and. Who's on the team and what's their record really don't really matter. At this point, right now, we just worry about creating our own identity, um, taking care of home court and making sure that we um, move our defense in the right direction. Um, a little more technical, but you know, Frank has talked about guys getting used to his defensive system. Um, mentioned to us that uh, Phil has been going over some clips on, on defense with you. Um, what to you, I know you've been in a lot of different defenses for the years, but what is um, the biggest adjustment for you in this scheme? And, and where does um, sort of in the, in the layers of accountability for having a good defense, where do you kind of feel like you fall on how much responsibility you have? To, to um, I mean, it's, it's a concept of really relying a lot on bigs, um, kind of freeing our way to be able to chase guards and kind of send them to the base and then go there, man, like. Something I'm good at as well, but it's also, I can get steals by the way we play defenses now and making sure that I'm in the right places uh, on the weak side, on the ball, um, and especially on the weak side, making sure I'm there to be able to help guys and, you know, boxing out and different things of that nature and rebounding and, certain different things, but nothing that I'm not, I haven't seen before, just now, I'm obviously now a lot more accustomed to doing it. And, um, you know, Frank has been a hell of a defensive coach and coach in general, and he knows what he's doing. And my job is to make sure I fulfill the things that he's asking me to do. Phil, <clears throat> on 
Hey, Russ, I'm home with a sick kid today. Um, when you were with Mello the first time, he was obviously at a different stage in his career. And it was kind of, remember, it was a thing when you guys were together about whether or not he'd be willing to come off the bench and kind of, you know, he laughed about it at the time. Um, he's obviously come a long way on that. And now, I mean, if he plays like this, he's going to be in the conversation probably for sixth man of the year. What have you, um, I know we're seven games into the season, but what what have you seen from him in terms of an evolution as a um you know, as you know, mentally as, as a teammate um, and then his ability to embrace this kind of role and contribute in the way he has as, I mean, essentially a role player for you guys so far. Yeah. I mean, honestly, from the phone call I had with Melo to tell him to come to Oklahoma City when he was in New York um, until now, he's always been willing to do what's better for the team and what's better um, you know, for that particular situation at the time. Um, obviously, sometimes it may have not looked as if he was willing to do so, but the conversation we had as as men and as brothers, he's always been straight up honest with me on, you know, where he sees himself um, with the upcoming season and to see him just kind of really take in and own the space is uh, just amazing because I know he's at peace. That's the only thing that matters uh, us as athletes and as People, people fail to realize that we are people, human beings like everybody else, and we go do different things that are more difficult to handle. Um, and for him to be able to see that he's at a place of peace and comfort with himself is the most thing I'm most important about basketball stuff and take care of himself. He's a Hall of Famer and, um, and will leave this game with his head up regardless of what happens. Um, but him as a person and who he, who he has become over the last couple of years is uh, to me. I mean, honestly, from the phone call I had with Melo to tell him to come to Oklahoma City when he was in New York um, until now, he's always been willing to do what's better for the team and what's better uh, you know, for that particular situation at the time. Um, obviously, sometimes it may have not looked as if he was willing to do so, but the conversation we had as as men and as brothers, he's always been straight up and honest with me on you know where he sees himself um, with the upcoming season, and to see him just kind of really take in and own the space is uh, just amazing because I know he's at peace. That's the only thing that matters uh, us as athletes and as people. People fail to realize that we are people, human beings like everybody else, and we go do different things that. Uh, more difficult to handle um, and for him to be able to see that he's at a place of peace and comfort uh, with himself is the most thing I'm most important about basketball stuff and take care of himself. He's a Hall of Famer and, um, and will leave this game with his head up regardless of what happens. Um, but him as a person and who he, who he has become over the last couple of years is uh, to me 